Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your love tarot card reading. In this tarot card reading, I'm going to be looking at the energy between you and the person that you are dealing with. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Now for those of you that are not interested in love, you can check out the other playlist on this channel and you'll find plenty of other videos that can provide you with whatever it is that you're looking for right now as you can see i've already shuffled the cards and laid them out if you'd like to learn how to read tarot you can check out the courses and books in the description box below let's begin your tarot card reading i'm going to start with your energy okay what i'm noticing from your energy is that there's something here that is very important there's this energy of you trying to take a position of neutrality Trying not to allow your emotions to affect you when it comes to a specific person. Now, I'm sensing that you need to make a decision, but you're refusing to make a decision. There's also a refusal on your part to acknowledge something that has happened between both you and this individual concerned. Some of you are either dealing with a twin flame connection or a soulmate co connection. You could be waiting for the person you're dealing with to make a decision regarding this connection. And I feel like you are at a standstill as this individual um, does what they need to do. So that is very interesting to me. I'm sensing here that a lot of you, you know, you feel something that is a lot more than lust for this individual. It's a very deep sort of love. And this connection is something that is very special to you. I feel like your life has been on standstill as a result of you waiting for this individual to come through or to do something for this connection as a whole. So what is connecting the two of you? We have two cards. One card is suggesting that both you and this individual can have a very successful and happy relationship together. The two of you can have the most splendid connection, the type of connection that people dream of. But then there's also this energy that is, you know, uh, fighting against this happily ever after. Someone in this situation is either carrying a wound or they are battle uh, wounded. It feels like that sort of energy. One person in this situation is very defensive and closed off to this uh, connection as a whole. It's like they don't want to um, fully immerse themselves in it. Right? Or there's circumstances that keep coming up between both you and this individual concern, preventing uh, this relationship from reaching the point in which you know there is union. So let's see. There's two cards here for your person's energy. One is about conformity and um, you know about the norms and, and trying to abide by what other people expect and want in the specific situation. The other is about change. So I feel like there's a change that is potentially possible for the person you're dealing with. There is that possibility. Now, as I tap into my energies, I'm getting a sense here that there's a sense of you wanting to, um, you know, take a chance to do something. It feels as if there's an energy rising up from inside of you where you want uh, something to change and you want it to be as spectacular as possible. Now, I feel like you've displayed a lot of characteristics which are courageous in nature. You might have, uh, you know, made attempts or taken risks or chances towards this individual that was really putting yourself out there. This could be you reaching out continuously, um, you know, uh, putting effort towards this connection. I'm also getting the sense of you, you know, um, looking within and trying to understand this relationship as a whole. Now, when I look at this person's energy, I get the sense of them, you know, realizing that time is not only running out, but um, the way that they go about doing things, it feels as if it's a misuse of energy. It feels as if they do the wrong things or they don't do the right things. Now, there's a, another energy that I'm sensing from this individual. It feels like the momentum is also building up for them, right? There's an energy of this individual, um, you know, embracing this element of spirituality especially when it comes to this connection for some reason i'm picking up that both you and this individual are resonating with very heavy spiritual energies at this point in time so it's a very important period especially if you meditate and you do this kind of thing so i feel like this individual is very deeply connected to you in a profound sort of way now the interesting part of this is 
a sense of what I get from this individual's energy. It feels like they need to make a change in their life and it's going to have a very big impact upon this connection. It feels as if they might be, um, you know, on the verge of making a decision or, you know, establishing their position in the situation. But I feel like for a long time, they sort of went around circles when it comes to this relationship as a whole. They've handled it with a lot of, um, you know, subtle energies, gentle energies. It feels like that, but it feels like they've taken their time. It was like they were embracing this connection, smiling to the moon, smiling to the stars, and time was running out. I get that impression here. Yeah, that's why there's this energy of uh, change needing to happen in order for these uh, conformities to fall away or these things that have been restricting the connection. It could be that one person is in a relationship with another individual. It could be that uh, that is your person with another person or someone is married to another individual it could be on your end as well it doesn't really matter but there's something that was keeping the two of you apart and you know what this is so when I look at these particular cards that have come out here the first one I see is you know uh, looking for the answers looking for the right key to the right lock it feels as if both you and this individual were struggling along the way and you've been continuously trying you know you've been putting a different key into that uh, lock hole and you've been trying to open that door trying to open this connection up I feel like you've been doing it over and over again um, and hoping that there was going to be change there now we have a card here which is indicating that uh, there is a flow of spirituality between both you and this individual concern, the elixir of life. If you think of the terminology or the phrase elixir of life, you think of something that is uh, giving life to a situation. And spirituality is a very major component of your connection right now with this individual. I'm definitely picking it up. But I'm also picking up this energy of resistance and trying to fight against it whilst the time runs out. So where is this energy coming from? That's a very important question that I have, right? I feel like... You know, on your end, there's a sense of um, you trying to understand this individual. And then we have these energies showing up again. You're trying to have a deeper understanding of them, trying to fathom them, trying to figure them out. Because if you have that one piece of information, you can open up that lock and unlock the situation in essence. So that's something that's deeply, you know, powerful and profound, right? So let's see. Where is this resistance coming from? There's something very uh, unique and special about this connection that I do pick up uh, between both you and this person concerned. Someone is taking their time and I feel like time is running out, right? Someone is definitely prolonging this and um, not allowing it to move as fast or rapidly as it should be moving. These particular cards, for example, when you look at this one, it's all about, you know... Um, rest relaxation you know if you think about lullabies you think about something that mothers sing to children and it feels like it's very soothing but also at the same time there's another sense of it uh, providing a false relief a relief that is temporary in nature right so I feel like the time between both you and this individual concern is slipping right now it feels like that it feels like that sort of energy that has become very deeply profound uh, and apparent here. Yeah. And I feel like you could be in denial or not wanting to face the fact that your twin flame or soulmate is not getting on the same page as you. And that could be something that is a very painful reality to, to actually face, right? So the positive things here that I'm sensing is that you have an element that is working in your favor. The elements that are showing up are indicating the great potential of success. The fact that luck is indeed, you know, there for both you and this individual concern and that the rewards of your effort, they can have a remarkable payoff, not just for you, but for this individual concern. But why is this individual prolonging things? Why is this individual taking their time? Why are they delaying the inevitable in the situation? That's the main question, because I feel like the energies are moving in the direction of allowing this to blossom and to flourish but someone is pushing against it and causing it to uh, sort of uh, be in flux and not allowing it to move as it should be. It's possibly because your person is, uh, you know, um, abusing their energy or not using the energy in an efficient way, right? So I feel like there's um, the wrong use of energy in the person that you are dealing with. 
something has to fall away in order for this connection to happen. It feels as if those um, structures, those things that have been built up, it could be hierarchies, archaic, uh, archaic kind of things that occur between uh, two individuals. It could be from religions or, you know, cultures, different kind of things that come up in society that all are, you know, um, there to serve a certain purpose, but people use it as excuses, right? Uh, whatever it could be. It feels as if that must fall, that structure must fall in order for the two of you to have your happily ever after together. But the person you're dealing with is uh, flitting and flatting between two energies that are not very, um, you know, useful between both you and this person concerned. So that's how the energies are showing up right now in terms of uh, what is going on with your person. It feels as if they're skirting around and not really um, facing things as they can. And there's this powerful opportunity of luck and, um, you know, the opportunity to have something remarkable and time is running out. Okay. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.